Hello, welcome to Back to the Mat. A uh, series of exercises, body weight exercises. We do each exercise for almost a minute, then we go and move to the next. We do a round and then we go back and do it all over again. As usual, I'm not there to keep an eye. So if you need to adapt, change or skip an exercise, do whatever you need to do, as so long as it's right for you. Um, we're going to start uh, for our first minute. We're going to do one stepping squat and one lunge back. So we just do a step and then we take a lunge. Other side, step and take a lunge back. Stepping out and lunging back. Good, step out, lunging back. Just nice and easy, warming up, one step, one lunge. And then we do a slightly higher impact version of this after this. Step and lunge. And again, one step and a lunge. So the arms are going here and forward. Little bicep curl. If you want to use weights, you can. Step, we lunge and we step and lunge. Keep going, step. Try to give halfway, so we're on um, past the halfway mark. We're on 16 seconds now. Step and lunge, step. So we're on the 10 second mark. It was like that 10 second mark. Lunge, one step, one lunge, last one. Now we're going to take it to a jack and a press. Jack. It's a little opposite arm coming in. So it's a little bit like we just did, but it's a higher impact version. And if you want to use both arms, that's also fine. Out and back, out and back. It's actually probably easier coordination-wise using both arms. So we're halfway, out and forward, out. Here we go. Good. Lovely. forward and all the way and then we just come back and we come back up circling the shoulders roll down come forward and go back so another really good warm-up roll down come forward it's almost like a bear crawl rolling down coming forward and then coming back we we'll do that again we roll down come forward and then come all the way back and roll it up halfway Coming forward, and then we go back. And again, roll down, come forward. So on the roll down, if you prefer, you can roll all the way down the straight legs and come forward. It's up to you and your hamstrings. And come up, and one more. Okay. Okay, we're going to some single leg squats now. So, hands in prayer, you might need to pray. And we're going to single leg squats. If you need to put your foot down at any point, go ahead. And of course, if you need to hold on to something, if you have a chair handy, even for the first few or the last few, I've just had to put my foot down, that's absolutely fine. I can feel the underneath ankle is having to work very hard to keep me there and it just wants to roll a little bit. Keep going. And we're almost at that 10 second mark, which feels really a long time coming on these single leg squats. A few more. Okay, maybe two more. Last one. Okay, give it a shake. Exactly the same thing on the other side. You might find one side is easier than the other. Let's, let's see. So, squat. You might find that one leg is stronger than the other. If you've had an injury on your ankle, ankles, which I have, then it's a really good exercise to do, but it's also going to feel harder. So my leg is having to work really hard to do this. I 
And that's one. Good for us. 20 seconds left. Good. Keep it going. 10 seconds left. Lovely. A few more. And last one. Okay, a bit more single leg stuff. So we're going into a plank, but this time we're going to hold each leg up for 30 seconds. So one leg comes up, body's nice and straight. You're just looking at the floor heavy or you're looking down at the floor, keeping your back really nice and straight. Good. We've got 10 seconds uh, left on this one leg. And then we've got 10 seconds on the other leg. Okay, let me change legs. Taking the other leg up, body nice and straight. So use your deep core muscles. Hold it there. Not that long to go. 10 seconds coming up. Here we go. 10 seconds left. Good. Just a few more. Hard work. So now we're going from that, we're going from a press up to a plank. So we'll do it from here. So we have a press up, then we come out of it and we just push to plank. We drop onto the knees, we do a press, we come up and we go to plank. If you don't want to drop onto the knees, you just do a press up and then hold the plank. Otherwise knees, drop, come up, press to plank. Halfway, drop, press, come up, and then press to plank. Knees, press up, come up, press to plank. Good, knees, press up, come up, to plank. Few more, drop, up, press to plank. We're at that magic 10 seconds now. And press, few more. Coming up, last one, coming up. Okay, good. So now we're going to go, carrying on with planks, we're going to a side plank. We're going to hold each side for 30 seconds. Lifting up and away. Lift and hold. Good. Stay. A bit longer. A bit longer. A little bit longer. Okay. Going to swing round to the other side. Have I got my back to the camera? But never mind. Lifting up, I'll still be able to hear the beep of the 30 seconds. So we're holding it as long as we can, lifting the, uh, the body away from the floor. Holding it here. Lifting up and away, really lift. You can stack the feet on top of each other if you prefer, or just cross the top leg over the underneath leg. It helps the balance. Lift, stay. And we're coming down, and now lying on the back. So, we're going to take some scissors, so hands come to the ears, you're lifting head and shoulders up, and we're just tapping alternating feet to the floor, so it's nice and easy. Lifting head and shoulders up towards the leg, keeping the elbows back. If you want to, you can bring the arms down. If you find it helps you, Relax the head a little bit more to let the weight of the head drop into the hands and that keeps the neck more comfortable. This is what I'm doing, then just carry on. So just a little warm up here. Good, staying here. Lovely, good. We're almost at the 10 second mark, which we are now. Exactly the same thing, legs straight or straighter. So you're just doing slow scissors, legs lengthening away from the centre, as straight as it feels good for you. If it's not comfortable at all to have straight legs, bend them, go back to what we did before. So they're nice and controlled. You're thinking of scooping the belly in so you don't let it pop out and keep lifting the head and shoulders 
as much as it feels right for you as you scissor these legs. Do a few more. Lovely. And release. Feet on the floor. Now we're just going to take one lift to the centre, easy crunch, and then we take one over to the side. One coming up and one going over. A lift and a crunch. A lift and a crunch across. So crunching up and across. A lift and across. Good. Over. Up. Over. Keep going. Over. Up. Over. Lift. Across. And across. 20 seconds left. Up. Over. 15 seconds left. Up. So, ribs and hips are coming closer to each other as we do these. Over. Lift. Over, up, and over. Now we're going to go back to the scissors, but we're going to add that same oblique action. So we're going elbow to knee, elbow to knee. If this is too much with the legs straight, then you do the same thing with the legs bent. So we go back to those taps. So you either got a straight leg or a bent or any mixture of the two. Ribs coming up to hips, hips coming towards the ribs. Good. And over. And over. Run the we'll pass halfway. And over. Over. Good. Keep going. Lovely. Nearly at that 10 second mark. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, 10 seconds left. Lovely. All right, up we come, and we're ready to do the whole thing all over again. So we've got the squat with the back step lunge. So squat, let's keep these here. Squat and lunge. Squat, lunging back. Squat, lunging back. Squat, lunge back. Squat, lunging back. Good, a squat and lunge back. And a squat. Lovely, halfway. So, how nice, easy, low impact version. Squat, lunging back. Squat, lunging back. A few more. Good. Okay, 10 seconds. Squat, back. We've got two more. Last one. Ready for the jack version? Jack. One. Out. Front. Out. Out. It's a bit like the scissor. Do lots of scissors in this round. <laughs> Out. Good. Keep going. Breathe. All right, halfway. Lovely. Ten seconds left. A few more. Last one. Okay, we've got the walk out. So rolling the body down, bending the knees or not, walking forward and then walking it back. Bending to roll up, roll it down, coming forward and then walking it back. You can keep your legs straight on the way back as long as it feels good for you. If you are feeling quite flexible on the hamstrings, otherwise if you bend the knees, so it's like a bear crawl, and the same thing on the way back, rolling up. So whichever way it feels right for you, and then come back. So it can be completely straight, and it can stay straight, and coming up. 
just whatever feels right for you. As usual, you can do a mixture of the two. And come here. Okay, here we go, the dreaded single leg squat. I'm going to take the arms out to the side to see if that helps me balance. You choose. So, here we go. You can bring the arms to cactus if you prefer, or you can stay with the prayer that we did earlier. It's whatever feels right. Oops, I thought I was doing very well there. Uh -huh. Slow and steady. Here we go. If you're working like mad, glutes are helping as well. Ten seconds left. And do feel free to hold on to something if you need. Oh, goodness. Okay, other side. Ready? We're going. Might feel easier second round. Might not. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Better. Okay, we're halfway. Lovely. Always feel free to hold on. Always feel free to put the foot down if you need at any point. to the plank with just holding the one leg up at a time. So let's start this time around again. So first leg lift and hold. So body in a nice straight line, pelvic floor, transverse abdominis, those deep core muscles, they're keeping you there. Everything is really still. Really working those deep core muscles very hard. I know it'll feel hard on your shoulders too, but it's working your core muscles. Other leg. Hold it. Good. Not long. The side planks we're going to hold on each side for one minute this time. Just as an extra special treat. Good. Stay. Ten seconds left. And coming down. Okay, so onto the first side for side plank. Coming up and again, your front leg can be. I'm just going to move the mat back. Your front leg can be crossed over, or they can be stacked. Oops, I'm getting my feet stuck. So either stacked or the front leg over to help with your balance. If it gets too much, you can always drop this underneath leg and then just try to lift the body a little bit higher. It's quite hard on squishy mats and trainers to get the balance right. So holding it, that's my excuse. We're over halfway, lift up a little bit more, a little bit higher, try to go a little bit higher. Really lifting that body up a bit more, nearly at the 10 second mark. Okay, we'll take 10 seconds. Good. Okay, and relax. Look, look, other side. So, same again. Either stacking the feet or one leg on top of the other. Or, or the top leg comes over the underneath leg. Lifting the body up and away. Holding it. And if you start, as I have done, and then feel, oh, you know what, I need a bit more help, then just bring the top leg over. Lifting up. Holding it. We're nearly at the halfway mark. Lifting it up. Really lifting up nice and high. Lifting that body away from the floor. And again, you can always drop the underneath knee down if you prefer. Lift higher, lift up and up. And lift. Good, nearly there. Nearly there. We're almost at the 10 second mark. It is now. 
Only 10 seconds left. Good. And bring the arm down. And drop onto your back. Okay, so we've got these bent knee scissors bringing the head and shoulders up. You can always keep the head down if you like. When you're lifting, <clears throat> your ribs are coming towards your hips, your hips coming towards your ribs. If you're using your hand uh, by your head, think of the thumb under the ears and the other fingers over. And that's just going to give you the support without pulling your neck. So it's just a feeling of your head dropping heavily into your arms. If you don't need to do that and you'd like to lift up, floating the arms off the floor, then that's absolutely fine. And if you prefer to do this with your head on the floor, that's also absolutely fine. Just try to get that same feeling of ribs and hips coming towards each other. Okay, we're almost at the 10 second mark. In fact, we've just gone past it. Good, just a few more, nice warming up. Okay, then we're going to stretch the legs out as much as we can, and we do a little slower scissor. Good. And again, you can do this with your head on the floor, your hands down if you want to bring your palms up to stop you from pushing your arms in or your palms into the floor. If you want to float your head and shoulders off the floor and the arms off the floor as well, that's also good. And again, if you want to support your head, maybe that allows you to lift a little bit higher. It's up to you, whichever you wish to do. We've gone past the halfway mark. Good. Lovely. Nearly at the 10 second mark. Good. And bring the legs in. Okay, feet on the floor. So we have one lift to the center and one lift across to the side. So we come up to the center, over to the side. Center and side. One center, one side. Good. Centre and across and lift and across. Good. Go across. One lift across. Halfway. Over. Lift. Over. Lift. Up and over. Lift. Up and over. Good. So again, make sure you're not pulling your neck. So you're lifting and over. Lift and over. Good. Over. One lift. Go across. Few more. All right. So we're going to bring the legs up. We're going to do scissors with the elbow going to the opposite knee. Bent or straight legs. Whichever you prefer. These are a little bit slower. Over and over and over and over going and if you want to do it with your legs bent you're still getting all of the benefits over and over halfway good over keep going lovely over good a little bit longer seconds left. And how can we sit to the chair? Okay, just going to have a stretch. So, one foot on the floor, the other leg comes in. I'm just going to ease that leg in. I'm going to hold the stretch for quite a long time. So, your leg can be a little bit bent if you like. You're still getting lots of stretch on the bulk of the muscle. Your underneath leg can actually lift or go on the floor or it can go all the way down if you prefer. If you want to really try to flatten that leg into the floor, you can try flexing the foot. That helps to the feeling of getting that leg flat on the floor. And the front leg, or the top leg rather, um, is as straight as you feel you can get it, getting that stretch all the way down the back of the leg. If you want to flex the foot, you'll feel an increased stretch. If that's too much, just relax the foot. Wherever you are, just hold it. You can close your eyes 
Let's relax the beat's gonna go in a minute and then we're gonna well in a few seconds and then we're going to change sides. There we go. So hugging both knees in to start with and stretching the other leg. So same again. You can be a little bit bent if you like, still stretching here, or you can straighten it. Underneath leg can be off the floor. It can be on the floor. It can stretch out. And again, if you want to flex the foot to try to press that leg close into the floor, that's fine. And this front leg or this straight leg is as straight as it feels good for you. You can just close your eyes. Flex the foot if you want to feel that increased stretch going all the way behind the leg. Just relax it as you need. Hold it there. Good, a little bit longer. Lovely, just bend both knees. Take a little side to side rock. Now we're gonna come up onto the knees. So you're going to bring your uh, knees apart, your toes together. You're going to push your weight back onto your heels and stretch your arms forward. Just holding it there. And if you want to take a little walk over with the hands to one side, come back into the center, walk them over to the other side if that feels nice. Otherwise, if you just want to keep pushing your bottom back to your heels and reaching forward with your arms, getting a really long stretch there. But then we're going to start to come up. We're going to tuck the toes under. Beep's about to go. We're going to roll the body up nice and slowly. We're going to circle the shoulders at the end. We're going to take the arms out to the side and open out the chest. Look up at the ceiling, lift the chest. Then come back, bring the palms down, roll the shoulders. Bring one arm across just to Release the shoulder. You can give your legs a little bit of a shake. And then bring the other arm across. Just stretching out this shoulder, releasing it. And again, give the legs a bit of a shake. And let this pass. All done. Draw the legs tight.